I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we're building another townhouse. This is the very last of the residential lots in Copperdale. So I only, not really only, but I just got the library, the tea, what's it called? Boba tea and thrift shop lot. And then also the school left after this. And yeah <laughs> that's it then we're done with Copperdale but it'll probably be a while before we're done with the school so like the save file will not be up for a while still so you still gotta wait a little bit but today we are renovating the Harjo's family house so the original house that was in this lot was kind of like a Victorian sort of townhouse I decided to go the same route although this townhouse is definitely less Victorian I will say I did a bit of a dumb dumb honestly I don't know how I could have not like I <laughs> this is you're gonna understand what I mean when I explain it to you but when I opened this lot on the save file that I'm building on in Copperdale they were five sims so they had two parents two teens and then also a kid so I did the floor plan and everything. This is actually pretty funny. Okay, well, I did the floor plan and everything and what happened? I think I skipped forward or something because the lighting kept changing whenever I swapped from live mode to build mode. So it was annoying. So I just like skipped ahead a little bit. Unfortunately, there's a heat wave in Copperdale and by using MCCC, Skipping ahead, it kind of just automatically skips ahead hours. So if your Sims, if you don't have their needs or like need decay turned off, their needs will drop and everything. And if you have a heat wave and you haven't changed your Sims clothes to warm weather clothes, your Sims will burn and die. <laughs> just to, not to sound dramatic or anything, but that's pretty much what's gonna happen. And I thought I was good. I thought they were in their summer clothes. I thought I'd changed them. I hadn't, so. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to say this without laughing, but it's really hard. So I was just, uh, you know, I didn't really think about it. I got a notification all of a sudden. Didn't really read it because I was like, okay, I gotta get back to building. So I just kind of, kind of ignored live mode. But then I actually read the notification. You can probably see it at some point. It's very orange and <laughs> turns out Noah died. So I had to, um, cause I really wanted their rooms to be fashioned after their likes and dislikes and like hobbies and stuff. So I didn't get a chance to write down his hobbies before he died, uh, before he burned because of the heat wave. So I decided to basically re-download them off the gallery because you can do that. But as it turns out, there are only four sims. They're not supposed to be five. So like, where did the kid come from? I don't, <laughs> where did the kid come from? This is so messy. I don't even, like what? Yeah, and by that point, I already had five bedrooms, so I was like, well, I don't know what to do about this room right now, so I ended up turning it into an office, which I think is fine because Luca, the dad, loves to write, so I think, oh gosh, what did they work as? I think one of them is a dishwa dishwasher. <laughs> That's not what it's called. Uh, I think the mom washes dishes at the school. She doesn't necessarily do it at the school because you can't really choose where they work, but that's what she does. She's a washer of dishes, but I don't remember what the dad does, unfortunately. However, I thought that since he likes writing, I would, uh, luckily in the new, in the, in the household that I downloaded off the gallery, he still likes writing, but yeah, so I figured I would turn it into a library instead so he could do some writing in the library. I will say though, just a little note as well, the family that I had on the lot before, I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure both of them were into gardening. So the two parents, and I was really set on that when I started doing the uh, not backyard, because it's not, there's not much yard about it, but like their little outdoors area. I was really set on them having plant pots outside, but I don't actually think the dad is into gardening, so I don't know how that happened, but it's fine. 
Overall, the family's very into pink and purple, so I'm trying to use a bit of that throughout the interior. Also just sticking to a little bit of green, turning down the yellow a little bit. Luca doesn't like yellow, but Ava, who's the mom, likes red, green, pink, and purple. They all like pink and purple, which I think is great. So for example, the parents' bedroom, I did decide to change or to use two colors because I like, you know, having fun with color schemes now and then and decided to go for green and pink because they just kind of work together. And overall, just not making everything like super matchy-matchy, not style-wise. I wanted it to look like maybe there was like a lot of secondhand furniture or like older looking furniture not necessarily like super pricey kind of furniture so everything is looking a little bit used especially like the dining area the floors as well were supposed to look a little bit on the rustic side i feel like i don't know if i managed to do it with the exterior but the house was supposed to have like an older feel to it in the interior at least also because despite this house being quite big but i also built it for technically five sims not four <laughs> technically built it for five sims the house is a little bit sizable but they're not at least the impression that i get from their jobs they're not necessarily the most wealthy family so i just didn't want it to come across like that with the interior I don't know if I fully managed, but I like the vibe that I ended up with anyway. And also, we'll say I was very heavily inspired by the original lot here because it did have a basement for Ash. So I decided to keep that little aspect of the build. However, there is no base or no uh, staircase to the interior of the house. You have to walk throughout, like you have to walk through the garden or not. You'll see it a bit, but you can't like walk inside the house and then enter the basement you have to go outside to enter the basement it just didn't work with the floor plan and i thought about it too late and then it was done it was just not lining up either so i have to keep that in mind if i ever do like a walk-in basement again i have to uh, or walk out basement not walk in um i have to keep that in mind because it's actually fun it's not often that i play around with basements either except when i do underground houses by the way if you want to see another one of those let me know because it's been a while since I did one. I think I did one with the werewolves pack actually, but other than that one, it's been a while. So might do a little bit of a bigger one. I kind of feel like it a little bit. Let me know if that's something you want to see. But other than those, I don't really touch basements at all. Don't really know why. I think it's because sometimes I kind of forget that I add them and then they're just empty or something. And I'm like, um, I guess I'll just delete this again. <laughs> so, uh, but also from you guys, from the comments, I know that you prefer actually one story houses anyway for gameplay. So I could imagine you as well forgetting that there's a basement in a build, you know? So maybe for, I mean, this is technically a three story house. That's, that's hard to keep track of. Like, where are the sims in the house and that stuff, right? So, yeah, might do a one-story house as well next week. Who knows? I'm going away to Copenhagen tomorrow, but then when I come back Monday, I'm just gonna go, like, record a crazy. So if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. Hopefully as well, the heat will have calmed down a little bit, so it'll be more... It'll be easier to sit in my office. It's been terrible, like... There was one day, I think it was Monday last week, where it was like 32 degrees in my office and I sat down, I was like, it's Monday, you gotta do some work. And then I sat it for like one and a half hours and I was just sweating. <laughs> I was like, there's no way, I can't concentrate. So that, yeah, it's, it's not good when you work from home, no AC, it's not easy, so... Don't, um, don't underestimate the, uh, the struggles of living in a very heat-proof, like, heat- well, how do you say that? Like, uh, the, the apartment holds on to eat- heat, not eat. <laughs> it holds on to heat very easily, makes it really hard to breathe and stuff. I can't focus if I'm just sitting here and having a hard time with the heat, so... Anyway, so Monday, we're gonna get back to it. If there is anything you'd like to see again, let me know. But also, I posted over on the community tab if there were any specific kinds of tutorials that you'd like to see from me. I know that the most requested ones are floor plan and also I think landscaping was another one. So floor plans have always been a little bit like I've always said that I didn't want to do them because they're very situational. I guess I could like go through like two or three floor plans that I've done and explain why I did what I did. But... Floor planning is very situational in any way, like it still is, so I don't know if I can actually do a usable tutorial on it. 
I don't know. I would like I wish to help you, but <laughs> not that I'm an expert at floor plans whatsoever because I'm really, really not. But I want to help you, but at the same time, it's kind of one of those subjects where I'm like, is it even possible to do a tutorial on it? Because it's not that forward. Like, it's not that straightforward. It's very depends on the build quite a lot, like the shape of the house and everything. Also, what kind of what kind of house you're working on. But maybe we can do it like that, go through three different kinds of houses and I can take you through it or something. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. can kind of do the same with like landscaping, show you guys three different kinds of landscapings that I've done and tell you why, explain how and stuff. But other than those, if there's anything you'd like to see a tutorial on, any tricks or anything, let me know. It sounded a bit like an order. Um, I was running out of breath there, so I just kind of had to get that out. But again, like, let me know, you know, just just let me know. I can't help you if you don't let me know. So, um, or try to help you. I'm not all knowing, so I just, I can't help you with everything. And whatever I know might not be correct either. So it may not even be helpful, you know, just just disclaimer. I'm not an expert, <laughs> just, just so you know. But anyway, so this is supposed to be Noah's bedroom. I, oh right, yeah, I actually have a little theory because it's not said in the description, um, but I think they might be a merged family, right? Like, is that what it's called? Blended family. I think Noah is Ava's son and then Luca and Ash were family before they were merged together because Noah's last name is Kane, while the others are called Harjo. Just a theory, but I kind of noticed because, like, I was like, why is the name Kane? Where did that come from? So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think Ava might have taken Luca's last name if they got, or when they got married, and now they live together with two teens. That would also make sense because they're two teens. Like, you know, how how did they get, unless they're twins, but they don't really look alike, so, I mean, not not that all sin, sins, hmm. not that all twins look alike, but, I mean, I've never come across twins that didn't look alike, and I don't mean identical twins, I just mean twins. We actually have a couple in my family, they're both boy and girl, boy and girl, so it's a bit like, they don't really necessarily look alike, but, um, yeah, anyway, I'm just ranting now, but yeah, I think they might be a merged family, right? Have you noticed that? Also, this was supposed to be the other kids, the little child's bedroom, but the child is not supposed to exist, so they're gone. It's now a library, but if you ever want to expand on the Harjo's, you know, there's an extra room. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be an artsy kind of room, because... As far as I know, Luca likes painting as well. Um, it's a bit harder with Ava's hobbies or interests or however you say that because she likes comedy, gardening, and cooking. And I mean, they have a kitchen, gardening, I tried to make that work in the very little space they have outside. And then comedy, what do you what do you do there? Tell jokes to your family members, you know, just have, have fun with that. So I wouldn't necessarily dedicate a whole room to it, but whatever you feel like you want to do with that room, you can do that. Ash and, or Ash likes to paint as well. Noah doesn't. So maybe make it like, I don't know, an artsy kind of room for Luca and Ash. That would be, uh, that would be kind of cute. All right, they're also... Yeah, I think I'm right when it comes to the merged family stuff because they both like painting and writing. And they both like black, pink, and purple as well. And hey, yellow. They have the exact same likes and dislikes. That's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure I don't like the exact same things as either of my parents or dislike the exact same things as either of my parents, but okay. That's fine. Maybe they're just very like close or something. I don't know. Um, this is the basement. So this is where Ash is living or this, that sounded weird. Um, they also live in the rest of the house, just so you know, <laughs> but this is kind of their private space. They can go a little crazy down here, decorate it the way they want to. I also wanted this to look like it had been renovated a little bit, but it still had like a um, rough kind of touch to it. It is a basement after all. I end up changing the flooring by the end of it as well because it just looked a little bit too dark. But Ash likes black, pink, and purple like I said before, so that is what I'm kind of trying to focus on here. I also gave them 
a lot of like luxury things to be honest but ash is also very trendy definitely a trendsetter so i imagine that they just like to have like a lot of clothes for example i didn't really check if they have any jobs i or any jobs plural with school that's very optimistic but okay any um part-time job i didn't check but i imagine if they did they probably saved up for their computer themselves or something i kind of feel bad sometimes when i do teen rooms if they're plural teen rooms in one house and one teen has a computer and the other one doesn't don't remember if it plays one in noah's room i did but he has a laptop so just to, i mean they could cost the same you don't know with laptops laptops can be crazy pricey too so i don't know Although Ash's setup is quite, there's quite a lot going on there, <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, but also, one thing to know with Ash's bedroom, because I like to paint, I kind of also translate that into drawing. So I decided to use some of the posters that look like maybe they had been DIY'd, and it kind of looked like Ash could have done them um, themselves. So that's what I was trying to do there as well. Just pick the swatches that look like they had been drawn by a sim. So also this is inspired by, um, so because Ash is very into fashion, definitely a trendsetter, I was kind of inspired by a situation that I had when I was a teenager because I used to have a lot of Vogue magazines that I got from both, um, it was a lot of magazines that I got from my sister actually because she used to collect both the American ones but also the Italian ones. So I used to have them in a stack in my bedroom. It's funny that I say used to because as a grown up right now, I have a stack in one of the uh, boxy shelving units underneath my TV. I have a stack of just US and UK Vogue. And also L, I think, but they're mainly Danish L, actually. But I was kind of in, I thought back to when I was a teenager and I had all those US and Italian Vogue and I had them in a stack and I thought, okay, trendy Ash would definitely also have like a stack of fashion magazines. That would be so fitting for someone who's a trendsetter and just loves fashion. I can see that. So yeah, that's what I was trying to do with that. Just a little bit of ins inspiration from my own teen Teen dumb? I don't, that doesn't sound right anyway. <laughs> is it teenhood? No, I don't. Te teenage years. My own teen years? Such a long time ago. I don't even remember what it's called anymore. It's fine. So, also the uh, bathroom here is just for Ash and I decided to basically make it look a little bit different from the other ones. So there's a lot of like pink in here basically. And also a purple bathrobe because they like purple and pink, so you gotta add a little bit of everything. But as for like the sink and also the toilet and uh, the shower and what's it called? Shower bathtub combo definitely look a little bit renovated compared to the uh, bathroom upstairs. I think I put two other ones in the house. I think there's like a proper bathroom on the second floor, but then there's just like a powder room on the ground floor. So, um, but this whole, this whole uh, floor right here is just for Ash. Went a little crazy with it as well, not gonna lie. Like I, I definitely over cluttered, but I was having my the best time doing that so i had a lot of fun with it as for the exterior just trying to look like maybe the house has been uh, i wasn't overgrown but like there's vine and stuff on it that staircase was annoying me so much because i decided to raise the living room by one tick so put a platform down and raised it by one tick and for some reason it just kept it kept messing up my staircase. You can probably see it now and then. Whenever I changed anything with the house, it would undo it. Whenever I changed the fencing on the front patio, it would undo it. It was so annoying. I cannot see. Yeah, I went back and fixed that staircase so, so many times. It was bothering me so much. It happens again in a second. I'm pretty, yeah, there we go. It was so bothersome anyway. So annoying. Uh, but it's fine. Everything's fine. It should not be a problem if you download the house. So it should be all good. Obviously, we don't really have a lot of room around the house. But I've said this with basically all the other residential lots. I feel like Coverdale, you don't really... Or in Coverdale, you don't necessarily need... A backyard or just a yard garden or whatever I feel like the houses kind of because the lots are so small I feel like the houses are okay just standing by themselves so again for this one definitely keeping the garden area minor but I did want them to have just a little bit so I ended up only placing down 
a dining table with four mismatching chairs, but not mismatch like the chairs don't mismatch or aren't mismatching. It's just the pillows or cushions on the chairs because I figured each family member would kind of have their own cushion that they took out whenever they ate at the table outside. I thought that would be cute. So that's what's going on there. You'll see that in a second. I'm like, which one would fit who? <laughs> so that's that's what's going on right there. Um, but then they also have the... Uh, all right, they have four bicycles as well because all four Sims living in the house can actually use the bike. So I thought it would be fitting for them to have that. And then also plant pots. But that is it for this build. Just notice my time is up. I gotta wrap this up. If you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT. And you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And if you like books, definitely check out my other channel my booktube channel it's also linked to in the pinned comment but that is all i got for you guys today so i hope you all enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and i will see you all in the next one bye bye